Yo, what's up guys? That one was for you, Russ. So, just had my weekly warm-up run. Did 7K around my local trails. Uh, it's starting to get dark a bit now as well. You can see the night's starting to get uh, get darker, get a bit muddier and a bit colder. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, the run was really good. I went out and was just gonna do a nice easy run. Started off slow, and then in the second half I was really feeling it, so I picked up the pace. And I surprised myself how quick I ran. So that's also good, really good for my confidence. Um, so I just want to thank you guys for all the wicked advice you gave me in my last video about losing my running mojo and different ways to get it back and how to mix up your training. I've already done a lot of those things and they've already helped. I'm feeling so much better this week. Probably the most motivated I've ever been, which is quite a contrast from a couple of weeks ago. Um, so. As that was a success, I wanted to ask you guys a couple more questions. So, um, I've now started in my ultra plan. I'm about three weeks into it. Probably got another maybe eight weeks of training, eight, nine weeks of training, and then a taper before the race. So, the first question I have is, for this 50k ultra, what do you guys think should be my longest long run? At the moment, I've got a 38k long run scheduled for four weeks out and in my mind I'm not sure if that's long enough I don't know if I should be getting to 40k or 42k um, obviously the more I do in training the better I'll be mentally more confident um, obviously I don't want to risk injury or anything like that so on top of that my second question is any of you guys that have run ultras that have run marathons that have done big training blocks for these races how have you tapered before the events? Have you done a two week taper, a three week taper? Do you decrease the volume? And if so, by how much? Do you keep the intensity the same? Do you decrease volume and intensity? Um, Cause I have never really tapered for a race. I've done, I think maybe for my first 10K, I just didn't run leading up to it that week. Um, I've never really tapered for a half marathon because Generally, they've always been part of my training plans, building up to other things. So, um, so yeah, I've never actually gone through a taper process. I've read about it, but it seems like lots of different things work for different people. So I'd like to know what's worked for you guys. And then maybe I can take that on board and try and put together some sort of plan. So, yeah, two questions are, what should my longest long run be for this 50k Ultra? And give me your best tapering advice. Alright, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and comment below. Any advice you've got will be greatly appreciated. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos.